Welcome to Steps Gaming, this is Steps here, and today I want to talk about tonight's Arcade 1UP stream. Um, it's rumored that Eugene Jarvis is going to be the legendary guest on this show. Eugene Jarvis, obviously known for Raw Thrills and his arcade classics from the 80s and 90s, um, a lot of them specifically with Williams. And so, it's been rumored that today they're finally going to announce a Robotron 2084 slash smash tv cabinet released by arcade one up this was mentioned by michael b earlier in the week on one of his streams um hopefully he got a pretty accurate leak and we actually see this cabinet come to life um the reason why i wanted to talk about this today is that i think this is the perfect timing for arcade one up to announce this cabinet and also the perfect timing for them to release this cabinet. They've had a string of bad releases. Um, things that have burnt the community. The, com the community is very frustrated. Especially with the recent release of Fast and the Furious. And hopefully there's some updates that will help people to have that cab. But Robotron 2084, that game you know, came out in the 80s. We got Smash TV, came out in 1990. These are titles that Arcade 1UP should be able to nail and release and have work in a perfect manner relatively easily with their existing technologies. Um, the only concern I would have is that since it's a dual stick shooter, will we be getting a better joystick? A joystick worthy to play Robotron 2084 or to play Smash TV? Not only that, but we're going to need four joysticks. It's going to have to be much like the Burger Time cabinet. So are we going to be too limited on space? You know, ideally, a 19-inch monitor, a little bit wider panel, would work really, really well for this cabinet. Maybe we can call it the XL. I don't know. But we don't know what it is yet. So we'll have to see and then evaluate. But for me, I really think this is the perfect timing. I think it's a good choice. It's a classic. Now, granted, it may be hard to sell to retail stores because not as many people have the nostalgia for that title, but the hardcore arcade enthusiasts definitely do. They've been demanding this game for a long time, so I think they should be able to sell enough cabinets through either just their website or maybe just through Best Buy that, that uh, should meet the demands and make some profits for them. Um, I personally, I think I like... I think I like Robotron a little bit better. Um, I did. I have played that a few times over at Galloping Ghost. I'm looking forward to going back in June and playing and playing it again. I recently been playing games that were inspired. I've been playing Saturn um, on the iArcade or Saturn Deluxe on Steam. Also a very good good game. But everybody wants that original. They want that that original release. And I think Arcade One Up is the only one that could deliver the goods on, on that, especially with their relationship with Eugene Jarvis. So I hope that this announcement comes today. I think this is exactly what they need. They need this bad. And um, these two games are definitely classics that will work. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer Smash TV or Robotron? Do, which kind of skin would you want on the cabinet? That's the other thing I got to talk about. <laughs> like, what skin are they going to do? Are they going to do both? They really need to do both because there's a crowd for both. But they're going to be... A, limited numbers so do you do you know you do a couple thousand of smash and a couple thousand of robotron and then hope they all go or do you just make smash tv I, I think they need to split it up i really do there's a demand for robotron a hardcore demand for robotron there's a hardcore demand for smash tv so which skin would you want which one do you think they're going to ultimately do you think they're just going to do smash tv um and um uh, are you excited for this title do you think they could actually nail this one? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.